Alright, welcome back everybody to another episode of Back to the Future the Game. Uh, what's it called? Uh, I forgot. Double Visions, yeah. Um, I have no recollection of what happened last time. But I do know that I do have what I collected last time. I don't remember why I'm still here though. Um, but I need something else, don't I? Um, I need... I need a diamond, which is outside the um, thing schooly, the high school or whatever, I don't know, but basically I have to go outside. So uh, let's see where we're going to go. I have no idea where the high school is. Oh. Marty! Doc! Oh, come on, I do have to do this again, do I? What's all the hustle and bustle? It's almost time for the open. First guy. Well, what do you mean? You got the time? Not exactly. Uh, in the. The right? Yes, yes. A great and Edna? How does her Oh, well Um To be honest. Sad? She lives with some with people. I see. Perhaps with my timeline, so we Doc? Maybe. Can you hear you? Doc, she tried. Oh, she was terrible. No, I so did near. I don't believe this. All I'm just a short. Blah blah blah. Uh, Come on. No, I'm sorry. So you did. Basically, yeah. Then there's nothing left to. Why should it matter to you? Aren't you planning on overriding me? All right, diamond, diamond, diamond. Um, there's a diamond out here, apparently. There's a rainstorm. Like, I have no idea what I'm doing. Uh, hints, please, please. Oh. Oh, a shaped object. Not there. Press button to experience Future Hill Valley, circa 1981. And after the rain, what else? An artificial rainbow, reassuring all the good people of Hill Valley that their needs are taken care of, and life is sweet. Nice rock, but I can't reach it. Uh. Of course, our residents will want to venture forth into the fresh air occasionally. And what better excursion than a pleasure ride in this elevated super train of the tomorrow. century looks bright for our fair metropolis. Jump with us 50 Clinton years into the future for a peak at Hill Valley, circa 1981, that you can find everything you need to transport where and the collect the reality and all the world and all the world will make it a breeze. Our city, 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 our city
Let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. A network of burrows extends a mile into the earth. Uh, that's it, yeah, I think. Giving future Hill Valley's 10 million citizens plenty of space to work, oh, play, hiya, kiddo. and Say, their wouldn't families. it be easiest if I just march up to that Strickland dame and give her a smack in the puss? Well, it would be fun to Oh, you got all the- Not all of them yet, but I'm working- What? What else is there? Wait, wait, nah, oh come on, I don't, I don't like how you have to actually press that button. Hint's okay. Alright, oh, I need to talk to uh, her about the pictures. Nope, uh, long story short, we'll do this. I probably shouldn't show Emmett's baby pictures around to complete strangers. The fuck? I wonder what's gonna happen to Emmett's li little black. Oh, it's legendary. I wonder. You must think. Nope. That's all the questions. Very well then. Uh, let's go here. Back to her uh, and try to give her the book, maybe? I brought him its photo album like you asked. Let's see. Gee, he's not bad looking. In an egghead kind of way. Remember, I don't want you seducing him for real. I ain't a cradle robber, kiddo. How about the furs and the diamond? I'll get him to you. Voila. Say, pretty snazzy for a phony rock. Gimme. Keep that up, and I may take a real shine to ya. I'd rather you take a fake shine to Emmett. I'm working on it. Now bring me those furs, and we'll be in business. Hey, Trixie. Are these furs good enough? Well, they're a little ratty, but, uh, they'll work. So, you got everything you need for your big scene? Everything except for your friend. Emmett Brown. Redheaded guy about yay high. He'll be the one with Edna Strickland. Not for long, he won't. Great. And I need hints for that. Because <laughs> I have no idea what I'm doing. Come here, you big old fella. Who the, f who the hell says that? Hey, Emmett, what's keeping you? No, oh, hello, Sonny. I guess I've got a mild case of stage fright. I'm about to play my big scene, you know? No telling how Edna's gonna react. You've, uh, got something on your suit. Oh, so I have. Anti-stain formula, work your magic. Emmett! Just in the nick of time. Um, step back now. We're gonna need a little space here. Oh, aren't you a vision? Like something that descended from the heavens. Yes, I'm feeling a bit elevated at the moment. There's something I've just got to ask Wait, you. Wait, your tie's a bit crooked. I've been holding it inside for weeks now, and I've simply got to get it off my chest. Oh. Uh-oh. My <laughs> grandfather's suit! My formula! Oh. Look! Turn your head! I'll be right back, and we can try this all over and again! And it's Lethrop Brown! Huh? Trixie Trotter? How do you know this woman? I don't! I mean, I listened to some of her records and I may have taken a picture or two yes. of her, but I... Go on! Deny to the world that you know me! 
Perhaps it is true, but I know you all too well. What is going on here? You rich boys are all alike. You think material possessions can compensate for a broken heart? Well, you can take back your furs and take back this gaudy diamond Ouch. too. I don't need your expensive presents. I need you. And more importantly, little Emmett Jr. needs you. Well, Edna, I... Don't Edna me. Apparently you are not the man I took you for. But I am, see? The mental alignment meter proves it. I am the man you fell in love with. Let me see that card. I should have known. A degenerate criminal. What? Get out of my sight! I never want to see you again! Ouch. That was rough, Emmett. I'm sorry you had to go through it, but things are gonna be okay. You and me can... Emmett? That went off great, huh? Yeah. Maybe too great. Great for this. Damn it! Go away! Come on! Where are you? I'm sorry you had to go through that scene at the expo. Things didn't work out the way you expected, but everything's gonna turn out okay. See, I, I know how this story turns out, and... The story is over. <gasps> Okay, Emmett, hold still. I know your emotions are running a little wild, but don't do anything crazy. <laughs> emotions? What emotions? My emotions are dead. <sighs> they say I'm crazy, got no sense, but I don't care. They may or may not mean offense, but I don't care. Stop! <laughs> What are you doing up here? Don't jump! I wasn't gonna jump! Uh, then what do this you- This is where I come when I want to think. Oh. When I want to be alone. Oh. Well, I'm afraid there isn't any time for that. Y you need to act. Can't you take a hint? I don't want you here. I don't need you. You don't know what you need. And you do? As a matter of fact, yeah. You need- to get your mind off your problems, go see a movie. I hear Frankenstein's pretty good. Frankenstein? I tell you that my very life force is drained away, and you want to talk about Hollywood monster movies. It's a very inspirational monster movie. Especially the scene where they bring the monster to life. There's this big gurney that lifts him up into the air, and... And see, there's this wild storm going on, and lightning crashing everywhere. It's amazing. And you just gotta see it, Emmett. It'll change your life. Look at my helmet. Which light is flashing? Yellow. Apathy. I don't care about movies. I don't care about anything anymore. And I never will. Don't give me that. You care. You still care about inventing things. <laughs> inventing is overrated. 99% hype, 10% fraud. Name one invention that ever did anybody any good. Uh... How about... Think about Edison and the light bulb. That was a great invention. Eh, yeah, might have been. If there was anything in this miserable world worth illuminating. The automobile was a great invention, right? You love cars. Yes. If I'm lucky, I may be struck by one today. How does he make everything so depressing? The telephone. Think how that invention has revolutionized the whole world. Yes. Now a person can be rejected long distance. Help me out here. You're getting on my nerves, Crockett. At least you would be if I still cared about anything. 
Your heart's broken, I know. First breakup's a bitch, but you'll fall in love again, sooner or later. There's a woman waiting in the wings, and she's worth waiting for. Spare me the platitudes. Now that Edna has turned my heart into a desiccated husk, I'm done with love. Forever. We're all depending on you to pull it together. Why, you're gonna put Hill Valley on the map. Oh, please. My greatest fear is that I'll end up frittering my life away in this miserable town. Uh... Me! You care about me, Doc. <laughs> you? Y yeah. You... You did this to me. I did what? I was perfectly content drudging away in my dad's law office. You show up out of nowhere, get me all excited about inventing, and disappear. Two months later, you show up again, you trick me into making a hero out of myself and getting involved with Edna Strickland. Then you appear a third time and pretend to be my friend just so you can yank the rug out from under me and send me sprawling into the dirt. Okay, I can work with that. I love you, Sonny Crockett. Or is that even your real name? No. Marty. My name is Marty. Oh, so everything you've told me has been a lie. More or less. Why? Why did you ruin my life? Edna was no good for you. She was leading you down the wrong path. I see. You had my best interests at heart. Yeah. Just like my father. Oh, but there's more to it, see? Your father doesn't know your true path. And you do? Yes! How is it that I could create a mental alignment meter and yet fail to realize that you are completely delusional? Oh, what does it matter? The world is absurd. No, I know exactly what I'm doing. See? I know this may sound crazy, but you gotta listen. In 1985, you're gonna invent a time machine. You're right. It sounds crazy. I'm just trying to explain where I'm coming from. I did it for fun. You ruined my life for fun? Yeah, that's how I get my kicks. You bastard. And all that time you spent building up my dreams telling me I was going to be a great scientist. Yeah, what a laugh. Dreams are only for people with guts enough to follow them. You're saying I don't have guts? You? <laughs> Look at you. What do you know? A person like you? You don't know the first thing about me. I have more dreams in my little finger than you'll ever have. Hey, daydreams don't count. Daydreams? <laughs> That's what they said to Edison. That's what they said to Einstein. That's what they said to Dr. Frankenstein. Yeah, and look what they accomplished. I'm sick of people telling me what I can and can't do. First my father, then Edna, now you. Listen to me, good. From now on, I'm living my life my way. I'm taking my own advice and I'm following my own ideas. My ideas. Do you hear me? My ideas. Great Scott. I've got it. Got what? The solution. My invention. I know how to make it work. The mental alignment meter? No, no, my airborne personal transport device. The rocket car? Not rockets, not rockets at all. That was my mistake. The basic idea was sound, but the propulsion system was unworkable. But the lightning, the lightning! Suddenly the answer is clear. It came to me all at once, like... Like a bolt of lightning? Exactly! Static electricity! Super I and I static electricity powering the asynchronous oscillation of frictionless plates inside the what's this stupid thing doing on my head? Damn it! Yeah, you're you're you again! Here I've been wasting my time with silly mind reading tricks when there's serious science to be done. <gasps> and the expo begins at eight! Let's get the hell out of here before anything else happens! What? I said, let's get out of here before anything. <gasps> Uh, well, actually, he wouldn't die. Like, I. Uh, for fuck's sake, I could jump that. Um, how? Damn it! What? Got anything useful on you? Only my wallet. Oh, and this portable anti-stick, anti-stain formula. Oops. Can you climb up? 
I'm afraid I can't find a convenient purchase for my upper limbs. What? No handhold! Hang in there! Very funny! Emmett Solution, this stuff's dangerous. Is there no such thing as rinsing in this game? Hold on! I wasn't planning on doing anything else! Oh, this freak. It's too far away! This could sound like a useful idea. I can't plug my guitar <laughs> into that. Okay. It's too far away. I know it is. I don't think the spray would reach all the way over there. No, I do have to go down again. Um, if this is a bit of a long episode, then it's okay because it's probably going to be the last one. At least I hope it is. It's not going anywhere. What do I do now? I don't have a choice! Oh. Wrong button. Do I use my arrow keys then rather than WASD? Okay, I'll try my arrow keys. Let's get out of here! Your pants! They're stuck! Do something before we're crushed! No! <laughs> what are you doing? Trust me! Hold on! <laughs> I did it! What did you say your name was again? Marty! Marty! Thanks! Don't mention it. Whoa! Oh. Uh. <laughs> Tungsten. The catalyst will need to be made out of tungsten given the temperature within the converter will no doubt be intense. We'll have to harvest the filaments from all the light bulbs in my house. Your invention? You think you can finish it before the end of the expo? Think? I've got to. My future depends on it. Then let's go. Of course, the oscillating plates will need to be calibrated precisely. Even the slightest misalignment could cause the magnetic field to fluctuate in intensity, leading to sudden shifts in polarity. The results could conceivably be catastrophic. Ah, who cares? My thought exactly. Science should be messy and unpredictable, or else where's the fun of it? Need a lift? Mr. Sagan, got the kinks worked out of your car of the future? Uh, not all of them, but at least the DeLorean's mundane terrestrial functionality remains intact. As usual, I have not the slightest idea what you're talking about. In fact, you remind me of someone... someone I used to... <laughs> there, there, my 
my dear, don't worry. I'm sure it will all turn out well in the end. Maybe for everyone else, but I suddenly feel very much like someone who's going to be alone and unloved for a very long time. Maybe I should get a cat. Nonsense. I can state with nearly 100% certainty that you're going to have a long, fulfilling life. How can you know that? I think you'll find I know almost everything worth knowing about you and young Emmett. And his friends. Tell me, how much do you know about Sonny Crockett? Thank you for watching, and let's see what's in the next episode. explain it again. I realized that it wasn't Edna that made my life miserable. It was science. She used my science to turn Hill Valley into a police state. If Emmett doesn't go through with a demonstration at the expo, his dreams of being a scientist will dim just enough for Edna to step back into his life and steer him down another path. Doc. Well, um, I'm looking forward to playing that, um, it will probably take me like forever to get to it though, because there's so many games that I'm playing right now, but should be all good in the end, um, maybe I'll get it done before Christmas, um, because it took me half, like half a year if not more to play this game since the last one, um, so yes, uh, that was very interesting, um, I, I really like the plot twisters in this, um, and I that made me look forward to the next game, uh, which I can play right now if I wanted to, but I just don't have all, all that much time for it right now. So um, yes, v very well, um, well done Telltale Games. I enjoyed this one. I I want to I want to play the next one now. But anyways, as usual, thank you for watching, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye-bye!